what kind of a world would we be if we just start loving people? All these wars are about hatred, you know. Because we don't understand the command of God. Grab somebody's hand. I'm going to do this right quick. We normally do this at the end of church, but I don't want to do this while this presence and anointing is here. Everybody here said you're, you're already saved. But if you're in this sanctuary and you're not church, you've not been to church, or you're not comfortable in your church, and God has sent you here, and you heard something, and God is speaking to you, and God is saying, this is where you feel this in your spirit. This is where I want you to worship. This is always, that is the real place. It's always a hard decision to make. I know that from experience. So if you're in this sanctuary right now, if you came to visit here with one of your friends or family members, and you heard something, and you believe God is saying, I want you to worship a gentleman. Because I told him, don't invite no other people church members. Invite unchurched people. Invite people who walked away from church, who understand that we are a ministry of reconciliation, that they can come back and worship in freedom. So if you're in this sanctuary right now, and God is saying to you, I want you to worship a gentleman of. I want you to take a bold step and walk up to this podium. I said, Lord, I'm going to hear your voice. I think I've found my church home. If I'm talking to you, I want you to just make the step. It's always a tough thing to do. If you're standing next to somebody and say, if you're talking to you, I'll walk with you. And just grab their hands and bring them up so they can get connected to God's eternal love. Glory to God. Glory to God. Come and give my praise. Y'all are going to give my praise. Somebody going to give my praise. Somebody going to give my praise. Somebody heard the word of God. There's more people here that need to make this walk right now. Don't let that devil talk to you about this. God is saying, I sent you here to get connected to this man. Your destiny is in his belly. Glory to God. And I'm saying to you right now, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to do 30 more seconds because I don't want you to miss this divine appointment. If you feel a little bit of just an unction of like maybe talking to you, when you ever come back here again, I want you to please have some faith. Amen. Step out of the aisle and come. And I'm talking to people who have walked away from God who are members of this church, and you want to be restored fully the membership of genuine love. Just step on and come. What you got to be embarrassed about? What do you care what people think? This is a destiny time for you. We have 30 seconds. You need to join this church. You need to be restored fully to the church. You, you was always saved. I'm giving you 30 seconds to just overcome your pride and walk up front. In the last 15 seconds, I want you to talk to the person next to you and say, I'll go up there with you. If you need me to go, I'll walk I'll go up there with you. I wouldn't be doing it if I could feel it. Just I'll, go, I'll walk up there with you. <laughs> going once, going twice. Nine, eight. Amen. Young people, you don't know this. Come on. Come on, you can feel yourself in this room. I'm telling you, I'm feeling it. Love, but I feel this presence this morning. And I feel like somebody needs a tug. 
Because those gifts that's worked up inside of you that you've been not, wanting, not willing to operate because you would not accept it. Listen, God said, I feel you pulling on me in my belly. I feel you in the spirit.